The two terror attacks were a test of its security, and now the justice system is on the spot. On March 18, 2015, three militants attacked the Bardo Museum in Tunis, taking hostages. 21 people were killed. Three months later, in June, 38 people were killed in a gun and grenade attack on a beach near the tourist resort town of Sousse. 30 victims were British nationals. ISIL claimed responsibility for the attacks. In the Bardo case, 25 defendants will appear in court, 21 under arrest and 4 at liberty. The court has rejected all demands for release presented by the defendants' lawyers. In the case of the Imperial Marhaba Hotel, 26 defendants, including 16 under arrest, would appear, 6 at liberty and 4 on the run. Previously, lawyers have alleged the investigations had loopholes. The police also came under sharp criticism for their response in the two attacks. Analysts believe that the trials will bring justice to both the families and the counter-terrorism agents. Tunisians trust their country's judicial system. All legal procedures were respected by their anti-terrorism poll in the first instance court in the second terror attack case. Since 2015, at least 6,500 suspects have so far been arrested in relation to different terror-related cases. Some 2,982 terrorism-related cases have been ruled on since 2015. Life imprisonment and death sentences were handed down in seven cases. The Judicial Counterterrorism Division is one of the most efficient state apparatuses in Tunisia. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.